This is an opportunity for students to talk about their research, but in a way that they don't normally do. This problem in football has raised a very important question. Why are these helmets not able to protect an athlete from getting a concussion? My research topic for the, my PhD dissertation is bio-inspired structures for customized manufacturing of safer helmets. So the, the problem of concussion in football is right now is the biggest problem we have. And I'm trying to design new structures which are bio-inspired because looking at the animals who demonstrate headbutting behavior or woodpecker or seahorse, they have, uh, nature has that, that ability to develop or evolve those structures so that they can sustain in each and every condition. Yet, an additional 4% of students who were predicted to be at elevated risk for suicide chose to neither endorse nor deny explicit questions of risk, but instead chose to remain unselected or undecided. A lot of students give presentations at professional meetings where they're talking to their peers and in technical language and using a lot of jargon. But more and more today, the students, faculty, we're all being asked to really explain the value and the importance of our research uh, to a much wider audience. And this is an opportunity to recognize students for excellence in effectively communicating what they're working on uh, to a diverse audience. Uh, this competition helped me a lot where I can explain my topic, research topic to the general audience where they can understand what is the main problem and how we can solve it. For an airplane, this means the plane is on the ground with no passengers in it. So it's useless. I think it's a great opportunity, especially just for the students who participated because they're listening to these other students in other fields and they gain a broader perspective for really what goes on in a university. A lot of times we get narrowly focused in our own little worlds. And uh, there's just so much wonderful work going on that really, you know, it's the discovery of new knowledge. It's making advances that really help our society move forward and help our nation. Uh, first place is Aniket Ingolin. It feels nice. <laughs> I like it a lot. And I'm loving this bit, uh, thing. And my professor is going to be happy. <laughs> so I hope I keep on winning like this in the future.